Victorians in low-lying areas have been told to move to higher ground as major flooding threatens to inundate and cut off hundreds of properties across the state. An emergency level warning has been issued north of Melbourne from Seymour to Lake Eildon, with major flooding expected along the Goulburn River on Thursday night. Anyone in low-lying areas or close to a waterway has been told they are in danger and should move to higher ground immediately. On Thursday afternoon residents in Rochester were told to immediately evacuate as major flooding along the Campus River threatened the town. Significant rainfall is expected to hit Metro Melbourne on Thursday afternoon, and officials' door knocked residents along the Maribyrnong River. Authorities expect Shepparton to experience its worst flood in almost three decades on Saturday afternoon, with up to 600 properties isolated. The state emergency service has received more than 1,600 calls for help, and 10,000 people have been left without power since the wild weather began on Wednesday. The CES rescued 30 people by Thursday afternoon, including those driving through floodwaters in rural areas. No serious injuries have been reported to date. The chief operations officer of the Victorian CES said Seymour was facing its highest flood level since 1974. There is the potential for 187 properties to be inundated by floodwaters and a further 279 properties that could be isolated. Echuca residents have been advised to boil drinking water until further notice after stormwater entered a storage tank. In Victoria, at least 100 millimeters of rain has been recorded in the northern Goulburn Broken Catchment, and the state emergency service said those in western and central regions are also at risk of serious flooding.